long story, but I uh, grew up outside of Chicago in Evanston. My dad was my Boy Scout master, so I spent a lot of time in the woods. When I was a little kid, though, in grade school, I was in my uh, sandbox, and uh, we had a black uh, German Shepherd named Scotty, and he got loose, and he came over to the sandbox when I was like six years old and bit me right over here. And I told people from that point forward that I was now part dog. And in my garage in Chicago, growing up as a kid, we, believe it or not, had dog sleds that the Boy Scouts made. So I really think somehow, karmically, I was just meant to be who I am. Everybody growing up wants to be unique and different. And uh, for me, I, don't, I wonder if I even had a choice. I just think I was destined to be the kid that I am. Every day is an adventure, and that's the beauty of dog mushing is, you know, we're working our tails off, feeding, cleaning, um, just loving them. But there's such an energy and a vibrancy to our life here that we, uh, it's so worth it. And uh, you, you really feel blessed to do what you do. I won the closest race ever uh, a couple years ago, 26 seconds. And uh, the last day of the race, I was actually behind by an hour and I caught up a couple miles from the finish line. Um, that was pretty magical. Like anything in life though, it's not the, the victories, it's the small things that you remember the most. The amazing sunrise coming over American Summit. It's just like, wow. And that's what you come back for. You don't come back to just prove who you are as a musher, you come back for the sights you're seeing. It's like racing, but also being on this grand voyage My kennel that I call it is the chocolate factory. That's the way I look at uh, my dog yard is it's my, uh, my little dream world. And I want all my dogs to know each other. It's a big part of mushing is socialization. That's why I do let my dogs loose. To make sure that every dog you have your personal relationship with, you have your conversation with them, you know what they enjoy, uh, some are going to be shyer, some are going to be more hyper. I teach my dogs the exact opposite of most civilized people. I don't want my dogs to sit and stay and be obedient. I want my dogs to jump up on me and lick me and like to hug me and have that energy and that enthusiasm. I like a nice hyper rah-rah pack. I like dogs that know how to howl. I love my girl. The quest is you know, my, my school. It's where I learned to do what I do. And uh, I just, uh, you know, I've got a Quest license plate on my truck. I've got YQ tattooed on my chest. Um, the Quest is my heart and soul. I love it.